Aloha. We are at the Kapilani Park uh, May Day Lay Day Festival where we have a group uh, petitioning for the return of the uh, banners that were taken from Deoccupy Honolulu yesterday. We are um, local uh, Hawaiian cultural practitioner Laulani Teal is helping to organize the group and instructing them on uh, being able to the necessity of showing some proper respect uh, during this festival. Well, the reason why we're here is that it's a city organized festival. The, We are at uh, Kapilani Park. Okay, so let's let's go. Let's go. Let's go and we'll look for for cops and the press, and we're gonna kind of meet and greet. It's a meet and greet. And 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 look for any suspicious individuals such as. Walk, I'm sorry. Involved okay. in that's, that's the one we're walking there, the mayor's office with. <laughs> and this Holding is a paddle. That's a group shot of that banner. Uh, that was taken. Okay, okay, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Let's just let's go. Let's go. We're just going to be visible. The main thing is to be visible. Yeah. By the way, we're going to be visible. Sorry for kind of the bumpiness here. I'm trying to walk backwards a little bit. We are at uh, Kapiolani Park, Lay Day Festival, organized by the city. Uh, lay makers out of uh, Hawaiian uh, cultural events. We will uh, back up here in the group. Artist uh, Raul Gonzalez of the Kanavai Mamalahoy. The law of the splintered paddle, which is proclaimed by King Kamehameha. Some of the police here were actually at the ring. Protected and supported, and I should mention that my mom is a longtime lay maker, and she's making lays over there. Um, my whole family is, is over there making lays. But right now, I have to take a break from lay making because the city has been abusing 
Kanawai Mamalahoy, which is a much more important root of our culture. Yesterday, the city and county stole a, uh, this. This is a stolen item. And oh, by the way, can I file a police report? I haven't filed one yet. Yeah, yeah, okay, okay. Okay, so there was a raid on the Deoccupy Honolulu encampment. And, um, and this, this work of art right here, um, along with one that said, is, um, was stolen. We've had first-hand accounts that it's sitting right now in Wesley Chan's office, the head of the Department of Facilities and Maintenance. And he has said otherwise and refuses to return it. So therefore, we are, are asking that the city and county respect real Hawaiian culture and those who stand for the people, including these um, people right here who came down from the Deoccupy Honolulu encampment because they are standing for the protection of Kanawai Mamalahoi, the law of the splintered paddle, which is the first law of this land. This is a splintered panel and it's tagged under, under Ordinance 1129 for removal, for theft by the police. And they've done a lot of a lot of stealing of a lot of property that they had no right to touch. The items that were taken yesterday weren't even tagged. That was specifically yeah. targeted by HPD to take that mural as well as our supplies to disrupt our main personal. It was a specific it was, it was a specific ploy to try to disrupt our May Day our May Day uh, political statement. And, and a banner, oh, I'm sorry, excuse me, an artwork that said um, was also taken. But as you know, that's being used by the state as its model, but it's really a, um, you know, a very sacred statement that was uttered by Kawikeo Uli, Kamehameha III, who said, did so right there at Thomas Square, you know, in celebration of sovereignty, and that was taken. Um, so, you know, I'm here as a laymaker, as a long-time laymaker and a long-time participant in this event. I'm here to say it's not enough to just make the lays and promote the culture and play the music. Real culture needs to be respected in a very real way. Uh, you know, so that's what we are here to do. We're here to spread the word that it's not enough to make lays and to look nice for the tourist industry. That's fine if everything is pono, but right now everything is not pono. My uh, artwork that I helped to facilitate, which was done by an international artist who donated his time out of Aloha as an indigenous brother, helping other indigenous people and others who are you know, raising their voices in Ku'e was stolen and it hasn't been given back and I would like to file a police report. Um, not right now because I think we need to go and spread our message and, and make sure that people know about this, but I, but I really would like to. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Okay. That is a uh, historic diamond head in the background. Just joining us, we are at uh, Kapilani Park at the annual Lay Day, May Day, Lay Day Festival. The music is coming from the bandstand here. There's Michael Daly, artist. also had a very large painting, two actually, that were seized illegally.
the city's way of uh, promoting Hawaiian culture, yet they steal following around. You can see these banners on paddles because it's the banner of the law of the splintered paddle that was seized. Educational process. <laughs> there is uh, Mayor Carlisle and Tulsi Gabbard on the uh, one sign, because uh, Tulsi Gabbard promoted and introduced a Bill 54, which became Ordinance 11-029, that allows the seizure um, of property.
Some of the police here were at the, the raid, so we're going to go talk to them. And we need to have people protected because we can't protest anything if we're being abused, you know. So especially when they come in to our camp using physical force. Yeah. When an officer kicks me in the head and pushes and hits me, that's a problem. Okay, well we're not there, so I can't. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, but we just want we want we want to kind of raise awareness because we want to make sure that you know the Kanaka'i Mamalohoi was there to protect the people. You know that um, it it was it was issued by um, Kamehameha the first in order to protect the people, and if the people can't be protected, we can't protect anything. You know, so I mean I'm bummed because I have to leave. My mom is making layers of water, and you know. I can't be over there making lays with her. I have to be over here trying to raise awareness about the theft of my, you know, of, of artwork that, I mean, isn't it God a gift for us? You know? And the horrible actions are the city to the cops. Yeah, they all Yeah, yeah. I mean, that's not blaming you folks. It's just, you know, but this stuff is going on and, and it's got to stop already. It's got to stop, you know? We need, we need you folks as the, as the Maka'i, we need you to actually uphold the splinter paddle that's in the center of your badge, you know? And this is a splinter panel and it was tagged, uh, 1120 oh, yeah. so that's, that's my paddle. Right, right on it. How much you expect to have. Yeah, so we're, um, you know, we're, uh, we're just trying to raise awareness, especially for city people, and, and especially for the police, you know, not just, we're not blaming anybody, you know, who wasn't, who hasn't been involved in this, but we do want to make sure that people understand what's going on, and that, you know, we're not going to, we don't have done for it anymore, you know, we as Hawaiians, we need to stand together with these folks who are here from, um, you know, the Occupy Honolulu, and, you know, standing against the wrongs that are happening all over the world, you know, we all need to stand up and say, you know, you can't, you cannot abuse people. You just can't abuse people. Okay, have a good day, you guys. <laughs> We are at uh, Kapilani Park, the city's annual May Day Lay Day Festival. We're trying to educate uh, people. Let's see some uh, major music, uh, the bandstand.
If you're just joining us, we are at Kapilani Park where there's the city's annual Lay Day May Day Festival and we're spreading awareness and petitioning for the uh, return of the banners that were stolen by the police from the deoccupy Honolulu encampment yesterday. Signs were made by, no it wasn't a sign, it was a mural, mural banner sized painting by an uh, artist, uh, Raul Gonzalez. We're asking for the return at this city um, festival. We're following uh, Hawaiian cultural practitioner Laulani Tio. He's leading a small group here. People, they're not together, they're actually kind of spread out here. You want to stay here? I'll come back for you. See, we are near the uh, bandstand where there is some kind of tourist cultural event. There are actually. Uh, signs here. There are a total of about three very large paintings that were that were uh, stolen from the Occupy Honolulu yesterday by city crews who taped off the uh, the Occupy Honolulu encampment as though it were a crime scene uh, forced the protesters outside the perimeter and targeted one tent which contained the artwork and art supplies and uh, took that. And those are being prepared for the May Day general strike events that are to be going on about now at Thomas Square and we'll be returning there uh, later on today. Lani is blowing the conch shell, which has always been the sign of uh, something happening, something to pay attention to. Some people uh, returning. I'm going to get a bit of a head start in front of them. This is looking toward Waikiki Beach, if you're familiar with the area. These are vendors and whatnot set up. It's quite a tourist event. Sorry for kind of the Bumpiness. following uh, Laulani and uh, some of the uh, people with signs re demanding return of the banners that were stolen from uh, the Occupy Honolulu yesterday that were created uh, by artists to prepare for today's uh, May Day Festival. 
Sorry for kind of the bumpy uh, Kapilani Park, which is in uh, Waikiki, which is in Honolulu, and this is set a big uh, city and county organized event. Where a group here is uh, petitioning for the return of the banners that were stolen and letting people know. Karen! I need her. We can't go bother Mayor Carlyle without Karen. Come on, Karen. She's being... Oh, I guess we shouldn't talk online about Karen. <laughs> Karen. Karen is a wonderful person. Uh, Karen is a wonderful Karen, person. Oh, we're, we're really... You know, if you have Karen's phone number, tell her to... <laughs> we are actually trying to find some... The uh, mayor, Mayor Carlyle, I mean Carlyle. The mayor or council members, you know, it's an election year. We're going to try and find some politicians. This looks like the politician area, I guess. We're trying to find the mayor. I would, you know, I would look for police, and I think the police would be around the mayor. Or am I thinking of West China? organized event. We're trying to have our banner returned, the banner that was stolen from uh, Occupy Honolulu at Thomas Square, which is a few miles away, maybe five miles away from where we're standing now. Some of the same police that are patrolling now were on the raid. At Michael Daly, who had uh, artists who had one of the, you had one of the paintings that was, uh, actually you had two, two very, there, I know I saw one, Pacific Sustainability, that was really large. Pacific Sustainability, and the other was a, a large can, canvas called uh, Hawaiian National Emblems. It featured the national flag of Hawaii and uh, the national crest with the national motto. And in English, the, the motto says, the life of the land is perpetuated in righteousness. 
uh, it's ironic, not really. It's uh, not surprising that the University uh, Parks and Recreation uh, took the work. Now, I was there uh, during the raid. They targeted that one tent that had the paintings in it and the art supplies, and they took that even though it wasn't tagged. The, the tent was erected not long before they had come, and the, they're saying that it was tagged, I think, 48 hours. About 70 hours. About 70 hours. Um, so, because they recognized that tent, photographs, they said, and I'm getting this from Wesley Chung, the, uh, the director of the parks facility and maintenance, So I thought the uh, confiscation period had expired. I wasn't aware that that tent had been up before, if at all. I'd like to see the evidence. They'd like. They have to uh, tag it, and then 24 hours later they can, you know, take it away. Yes. They have a spy camera up at the uh, corner, so they should be able to tell. Uh, but the tents are rotated out. They're not stored they on. They'll uh, be able to see when we put that tent up. And us packing this, the art supplies. There were brushes and paints. paints. And the paints are fluid according to the department. Uh, and so they are not just being confiscated, they've been destroyed. They, uh, it's not, and it's not the first time they've confiscated the art supplies. They did so on the raid on uh, February 15th, where they seized property from private property. Right. The, the art supplies that I had donated. Let's go around the front. He's not here, so let's go find him. We're going to go find. Uh, who are we looking for? Mayor Carlisle. Is he here? We don't know, but he must be, right? Yeah. And if not, then there's probably other city council members. Let's look for council them. members and that kind of thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That kind of thing. Okay. About the real Hawaiian culture that needs to be protected, that is being harmed by Ordinance 11 029. 54, which Ms. Tulsi Gabbard um, introduced and has been just destroying, destroying Hawaiian people's lives. <laughs> and not to mention the most sacred part of our culture, which is Kanawai Mamalahoi. Okay, we're going to follow Lalani, see if we can find the mayor and some Honolulu City Council members. Teal and some uh, protesters and supporters of the Occupy Honolulu, where a number of large banners were illegally seized. I'm going to get up along the uh, edge here so we can see. I'm up on the uh, bandstand area.
artificial of some kind. culture that the city can make money off of it as uh, tourist attractions and there's some parts of the culture that protect people that cause problems for their police and the police ignores and we're trying to uh, promote the part that protects people And uh, also petitioning for the return of uh, banners that were stolen yesterday. And turn around, give everybody a look of at uh, where we are, what we're doing. the city and county of Honolulu, um, which is this entire island, which is the most populous island, uh, eight or nine hundred thousand people of the total 1.4, 1.3, 1 1.4 mil of the uh, entire state. So. we're looking at. We're uh, near the bandstand where a group of uh, young people are performing or chanting. actively promotes the uh, part of the culture that they can make a dollar off and uh, disregards the part of the culture that protects people, the country. 
Kano Ai Mamalahoi is the first law of the first king. It protects the people. It was the law of protection. It was the first law of the uh, kingdom of Hawaii. A banner proclaiming that, done by artist uh, Raul uh, Gonzalez, was uh, taken from the Deoccupy Honolulu encampment. Yesterday, in the 15th raid against it, it was 15, 15th raid against it in the past 170 some odd days, making it one of the oldest, most enduring encampments in the Occupy movement. I'm standing here with a group of people with signs being a bit conspicuous. I can't get high enough to really get a... There are um, some people performing on the lower part of the stage. Bandstand, where directly in front we have some people protesting the seizure of the uh, banner done by Raul Gonzalez. Joining us, we're at Kapiolani Park, Honolulu, Hawaii, at the city's annual May Day, Lay Day Festival, with um, Hawaiian uh, practitioner, cultural practitioner, the La uh, Laulani Kio, and some members from the Occupy Honolulu, who are protesting the illegal seizure of uh, the Kanawai Mamalahoi banner that was uh, created by Raul Gonzalez and two other large paintings by artist Michael Davy of
pictures of people taking pictures of me. <laughs> He has beautiful songs. These are all songs that speak of Kue. Uh, the last one had Meleai Pohaku prominently in it, which is eat the stones, you know, the Manao being that we would rather eat stones than to give in to the government's wrongs. I think uh, they were at the um, ceremony for the. Um Ki'i that was built, uh, Ki'i of, of Haloa that was built in front of the capital. Yeah, 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 they're amazing. They owe to the youth. Well, um, what are we doing and how are we doing? We're doing good. We're just, right now we're just paying respect to the Opio. And as soon as they're called, um, the May Court is going on, so we're continuing on. We were going to send the message uh, about protecting real Hawaiian culture. You know, we're, we're looking to do that with a lot of respect for the culture that's being practiced here, and yet at the same time with impertinence to the city's um, traditions and abuse of that culture. Okay. We'll be uh, following. Uh, Laulani in a moment. So where's... Okay, as you guys... As soon as we gather the people. We're starting to chant in the court. Spontaneous uh, demonstration, getting some support from some people. I'm just gonna. Does the walk start at Occupy or 12:30? The parade, kind of the walk. Oh, I thought it was 1:30. 1:30? I think so. Yeah. Which reminds me, I have to. great at promoting certain parts of the culture and we're suppressing other parts of the culture. Thank you. 
cut away for a moment and come back in a little while. Save uh, some bandwidth. We'll be cutting back.